Hey guys, I wanted to come and talk to you a little bit today about some of the uh, some of the top applications for the iPhone on Cydia. There are some very good ones out there right now, and uh, I'm very excited to come with you to some of the ones I found for my phone, and I wanted to share with you guys here on YouTube. Uh, they are in no particular order, but I am going to say that my number one choice would be out of my top 10 for 2011 would have to be my number one choice would be Spring to Mize that's S-P-R-I-N-G-T-O-M-I-Z-E and what it does is if you take a look at my springboard here on the video here you can see my icons look a little bit different than probably years ago and what you can do with this application you can act you go under settings and you can go to your uh, where it says spring to mize right here tap that and it brings up all these different app all these different features it has and what you can do under there you can change the size of your icons the number of icons that you can uh, put on your dock I mean it's just fantastic some of the things that it does uh, it, it eliminates so many other things that you would want to get for your iPhone it's all wrapped up in one package here with the spring to mice I just think this is just an outstanding feature for the iPhone user it gives you the ability to, to hide any of the things across the top of the, the uh, navigation bar at the top you want to hide if you want to hide the uh, carrier the Wi-Fi sign any of that the battery any of the things in the navigation bar at the top you can hide that I think this is just one of the best applications that Cydia has offered by far to me in, in, since I've had an iPhone uh, number two would be the they're sort of, they, number two and three go together. That would be the Infina board and the Infina dock. That allows you to scroll your dock and your boards like I'm doing here now. But like I said, with this spring to mice, you could really scrunch your icons together if you wanted to get more on one page. Of course, they'd be closer together and harder to get to but there I am again talking about spring to mice. Uh, to me it just it just blew me away when I saw that application but InfiniBoard and InfiniDock they give you this feature to be able to scroll your dock and your board They're, they are a good application for the iPhone 4 uh, next is WinterBoard uh, really that's what Cydia is one of the main applications on Cydia is Winterboard. You can go into Winterboard and get themes and things that you want to do with your desktop. You can that's where you select your themes at. You can go under there and go back into Cydia and download different kinds of themes and, and then you go into this setting on your iPhone, change these and then and then it changes them on your phone. Uh, next would be uh, the package backup that's another outstanding app and to me if you're going to have an iPhone and do all these jailbreaks and stuff like that it's just sort of an insurance policy for you to be able to have this feature to back up your applications at Cydia and if something were to happen to your phone then you've got a backup and then you you don't have to worry about going back in and trying to find all these applications again and re-downloading them one at a time you can do a system restore or a phone restore and just get it all done in one tap of the key uh... next the uh... speed intensifier is another good one and hits right here and what it does is it increases the uh... uh the speed of your phone's ability to open different applications and it gives you this little graph of a line here that you can pick how fast you want it to 
open or how fast you want to increase your speed by by these different increments on this graph here. To me, that was a, this is another good application. Um, uh, number seven or eight, where we at now? I've almost lost track. Anyway, another good application is Cydelete, C Y D E L E T E, that allows you to delete any of these Cydia applications just like you would any of the uh, Apple ones. We know when you hold the icon down for so long, it starts jiggling and it gives you that little X to hit. Well, this works the same way, which should have been there to start with, if you ask me. And I think I've covered all of my favorites. I don't know if that's 10 or not, but uh, last but not least, this is not a sole iPhone application. But if you're a Twitter and Facebook fan, Hootsuite, this little owl right here, if you've not tried it, trust me, it's a very, very good application. It puts all the different social networks, if you will, together in one place. And you don't have to log in to four, five, six different places to send out different messages. You can do it all from one location. So if you've not tried it, you can also get it for your PC or Mac. I do encourage you to get out, try to get the uh, Hootsuite on your phone. You will enjoy it. Um, I know this is probably a whole lot of rambling I've done here, but I also want to invite everybody to come to iPhoneForNoob.com and check it out. There'll be all the updates and reviews for your iPhone there. I'll post the uh, site in the description of this video. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks.